Hey guys. Hello. I'm Kai. I'm Chloe. And um, we are going to talk about van life. Um, in our case, minivan life. Yeah, this will probably be the first of this type of video. There'll be, there'll be more uh, on the horizon. Yes. Um, in defense of van life. Defense, yes. And you know, we're not gonna go on for hours and hours. We'll maybe do this one and like she said, like a few little side conversations based on this one, so. Um, but yeah, we've seen a lot of stuff on YouTube that, um, you know, involve van lifers saying that van life sucks. They're like, you know, I tried it and it's awful and it's really dramatic. I'm not trying to make fun of anybody, but you know, it's just, it's a little dramatic and we think it's actually awesome, so. I love it. We've been doing it for nine months now? Nine months. Yeah. Almost yeah. exactly. Yeah. It's my favorite way of life that I've experienced thus far. Yeah. I think me too, for sure, yeah. Um, we both, uh, we know, we're, as you guys will hopefully already know, we're friends who, uh, we both have a minivan. So we just, uh, you know, explore and travel and live out of our vans. Um, we do it for like, I'll call it, not show off reasons. <laughs> so like, we do it just for, um, you know, just to live, like not having to pay rent, not having like a contract, lease, office manager and apartments, breathing down your neck, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is really nice to be able to move freely uh, whenever you want, to mm -hmm. not be uh, imprisoned by like a lease to a certain city, a certain state. Um, so mm -hmm. I, I love that. Yeah, yeah. If you're like the nomadic type, uh, you like to travel, you like to meet people and just be on the go, go on adventures, then it's definitely the way to go. Um, cause the alternative is, you know, you're just always at home, not always at home, but you know, you're like always at home. Like you're watching movies, you're playing video games, you're on the, on the sofa, on the couch, uh, and you make plans to do things that are fun. Like you're like, okay, in a month from now, I'm going to go on this trip or whatever. But when you're doing van life, that's always, it's always now. You're always doing it now, you know? Yeah. So. And I guess that brings us to one of, one of the points we've heard a lot is that van life is lonely <laughs> mm, <laughs> or boring. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was like, wait, what? I think the complete opposite. I felt a lot more, quote unquote, lonely living like in an apartment. Mm -hmm. um, because in van life, you're literally like always out. Um, you're almost always surrounded by people unless you, you know, go and park like in the middle of nowhere or like. Yeah, you, you could be, be lonely. Secluded. Yeah, you could lock yourself in in the middle of nowhere, like you said, and like avoid all people, everybody, all society. But yeah, yeah no, it's definitely. I'm. I used to be really social a long time ago, then I kind of mellowed out for a long time, and now I'm back to being probably more social than ever before. Um, so yeah, that's an interesting criticism we've heard. I don't really understand it, you don't seem to either. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you're constantly meeting people, constantly on the go. Like in upcoming videos of ours, you'll see like hacky sagging, playing music, interacting with new people pretty much every day, um, unless we just try to avoid people, so. yeah. Yeah, definitely. But um, another thing also I thought was really interesting we've heard is like, it's hot. It's hot to do van life because you can't always have on the AC. It's like, well, yeah, I mean, you're in a vehicle. So like, obviously you don't want to always be inside of the vehicle um, in the hottest days of the summer, which we're almost at the end of now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, usually go into places that have air conditioning. <laughs> right, right. Um, but yeah, I mean, it can get hot in an apartment or a house too if your AC sucks or whatever. You know, that, that happens to probably millions of Americans every year. Yeah. yeah, and it's really part of the adventure. I mean, that's one of like the most fun things about van life, is like, um, you know, it, it it's like a quest to find like the perfect tree for shade to park under. Yeah, shade um, is good. Yeah, shade is good, and uh, it's fun. It's just like that's one of the fun things about it for for me personally. Yeah, I, I like that. True. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we could sum up most of, if not all, the. A little bit petty, I'm not going to lie, a little bit petty uh, things that I've seen these lists of all of the criticisms for van life. Um, what they are, are like, they're like life, you know, uh, life problems that you would have in a house, in an apartment. Yeah. Um, like trying to get quality sleep. I mean, that could happen having some bad roommates. It could happen. There's some construction across the street from your house or whatever. So we just find you try to park somewhere kind of quiet, maybe use some earplugs. Um, it's really no problem. Um, a flat, you want a flat ground. You don't want it to be on like a hill and you're like sliding off your bed. Um, so yeah, things like that. Um, I'm trying to think what other criticisms we've heard. Like A lot complaining about having car trouble. Yeah, car trouble, which most of us have cars. So you've probably had car yeah. trouble. I've had car trouble, you know, that was not my van. 
I've had band trouble too, but it, <laughs> it comes with life, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And if you think about it, I mean, it's um, either you are required to pay a rent for an apartment once a month, or, you know, you may go a few months with no van trouble for your house slash van, and then all of a sudden you you, you might have something you need to get repaired. Yeah. Um, and so you could look at that as like that's your rent. Yeah. Um, and I, I mean I've learned more about mechanical stuff doing van life than ever before. Yeah, you become like an amateur mechanic, you know. And then thanks to things like YouTube, you know, you can go on there and pretty much find any video on fixing any problem with your uh, your vehicle. So yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you're not having to pay rent, right? That's kind of the main thing with living out of a, a car, a vehicle, van, SUV. You just don't have to pay rent. So I mean, you're saving so much. You still yeah. want to work. Um, but then the money that you are saving uh, that way could eventually go to a repair or something. So as long as you still have income, um, or a huge nest egg or, you know, a cushion, then you're fine. So, yeah, but yeah, I definitely like the rent free thing. I'm a fan of that. <laughs> Me too. And we hear a lot of complaints and videos and stuff about people who try van life and they're like, it's like hard to park here. It's hard to park. There's like a no parking sign and stuff. I don't want to jinx anything. Oh, this is wood. Um, we have <laughs> never had a problem parking. I'm going to do it one more time to be sure. We have never had a problem parking. It's really easy to find abundant parking, both um, lot docking in businesses, um, street parking. I mean, it's it's really no problem. Maybe if you're in San Francisco or New York or L.A., maybe. I could see that. But yeah, and we both used to live in the San Francisco Bay Area, so we know how that can be. But um, yeah. yeah. But anyway, so yeah, we wanted to make a video to add to the few that are out there, um, I haven't seen many, that are defending van life. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you haven't seen our, our vans as of the time we're going to upload this. We're going to make uh, some inside of our van little tours, which will be about three seconds long because they're <laughs> tiny little sleep pods. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do a little like, here's the inside. Um, so yeah, but that's essentially what we wanted to do this one on is, if you're thinking about doing it, you wanna try van life, you wanna try car life, you wanna try anything, you can do it. Don't be afraid. Don't. You know, don't see the stuff on Instagram and stuff and be like, oh my God, like I need like $100,000. Like, no, if you're doing it for the, I'll call it the right reasons, not trying to show off, you're doing it to like live, to be free, to not have to pay rent. You can totally do it. It's awesome. Yeah. And I mean, I really recommend, don't try to hold on to the things you have in your apartment, like mm, um, a refrigerator and uh, a sink where you can wash dishes. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the coolest things about van life is not having to deal with that sort of yeah. thing. I don't have a refrigerator, I have a minivan, so mm -hmm. I have a cooler, um, I have all the food I could, I could, I could want, I mean, um, I don't even use a cooler anymore, <laughs> I, I think we both had our own, like, a big, you know, hefty cooler, at this point I do have, like, a tiny one that I'll use, like, occasionally, um, or I'll be like, hey, I'll tell her, like, here, keep this in your, in your cooler for me, and I'll kind of just have to use it. <laughs> but for the most part, I try to actually not even uh, do a cooler, and I don't eat out constantly either. Like, you would think that's going to be expensive because you're constantly at a restaurant. Like, no. Almost never. Yeah, you can brainstorm ways to eat still healthy, uh, but also buy groceries and stuff. So, yeah, there's a lot of options, um, and yeah, and we could go on and on. We'll have to do other videos to cover, and you know, if you have any comments, any questions, leave them down there. You know the drill. Um, and that would help us, of course. Uh, we'd like to help you too and answer your questions. Yeah. Um, so yeah, hope you guys found this informative. Yeah. Uh, if nothing else, then reassuring that you can do it too. You can totally do it too. Love van life. Yeah. And uh, I guess we should say the obligatory. Oh, I'll, I'll do it. Comment, like, and subscribe. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> click the bell for notifications. Blah, bell? blah blah blah. There's a little bit. You don't. She's a noob. We hate technology, so oh. we busk, and everyone insisted we make van life videos and busking videos, so we're doing it. Hate technology, though. <laughs> anyway, thanks for stopping by, guys. See ya. See you on the next one. <laughs>